Around the world, there are museums dedicated to art, history, or biology, but some of them are a little special. From a ramen to penis, you'll see a lot of unique things in these really strange museums. Number 14. Condom Museum We start our list with a condom museum in Thailand. Thailand is the biggest producer of condoms in the world, so it's natural they'd have a museum for them. Still in their original packages and surprisingly unused, the condoms there come <laughs> from every corner of the world and from the oldest of times. 13. The Dog Collar Museum In Kent, England, there is a museum for dog collars. With dog collars as much as 100 years old, this dog collar museum will fill your dog collar needs for good. Did I mention the dog collars? 12. Salt and Pepper Shaker Museum In Tennessee, a woman named Andrea Ludden is writing a study on salt and pepper shakers, and she has gathered over 22,000 different sets. Her personal collection is now a museum for the condiment enthusiast in you. 11. British Lawnmower Museum In Southport, Northern England, there is a place where you can see the world's most expensive lawnmowers and even royal pieces, such as mowers belonging to Prince Charles and Princess Diana. We're talking about the British Lawnmower Museum, of course. 10. The Mütter Museum At number 10, we have a collection of medical oddities. You can find bits of Einstein's brain, a piece of John Wilkes Booth, and things like tumors or shrunken heads. Now, I know, world's weirdest medical stuff at just number 10. Well, hold on to your panties, things are about to get really weird. 9. National Mustard Museum It's the year 1986. Barry Levinson sees his favorite baseball team lose the World Series and he loses all hope to live, until one day in a supermarket, the mustard on the aisles started talking to him. If you collect us, they will come. He later left his job and dedicated his life to a collection of over 5,000 mustards in the National Mustard Museum in Wisconsin. 8. Twine Ball Museum Ever heard of the world's largest twine ball? Ever wondered where it's housed? Well, at the Twine Ball Museum in Darwin, Minnesota. There's even a Twine Ball Day every year. The museum is the life's work of Francis A. Johnson, twine connoisseur. Well, Mr. Johnson, you sure have some balls. 7. The Meguro Parasitological Museum It is well known that the Japanese are really weird, but one Japanese doctor, Satoru Kamegai, took his passion for parasites through the scary door. He founded the Meguro Parasitological Museum in Tokyo in 1953 and since gathered over 60,000 specimens. One of the most famous exhibits is an 8-meter long tapeworm. 6. Sulab International Toilet Museum You wouldn't think it, but there is an international toilet museum in Delhi, India. Apart from the hundreds of toilets on display, the underlying message of the museum is a call for sanitation improvements in the third world countries. 5. Museum of Bad Art Among the many basements of Dedham, Massachusetts, there is one a bit more unique. Home to the Museum of Bad Art, it has more than 600 pieces that are considered bad. Celebrating failure since 1993, everything here is bad. Like, really, really bad. 4. Museum of Broken Relationships Hey, remember the times you thought your life should be a movie? Well, it shouldn't be. But maybe you found a place here. In Zagreb, Croatia, at the Museum of Broken Relationships, people can see artifacts from many relationships that have crashed and burned. They do take donations, so feel free to send your ex's stuff. 3. The Sex Museum Okay, now we're talking the Sex Museum in Amsterdam. Probably best for adults only, it's filled with stuff like paintings and ancient sculptures and plenty of modern-day deviants on display. 2. The Icelandic Phallological Museum On the same page in Reykjavik, Iceland, you can find the Icelandic Phallological Museum. The Penis Museum, in other words. They have a wide collection of penises from many types of mammals, humans included. It's the only museum of its kind in the world. A penis ridden museum. 1. Momofuku Ando Instant Ramen Museum at number one, it's the Japanese again. The sick mind of Momofuku Ando, creator of cup noodles, also created the instant ramen noodle we are so familiar with. And in Osaka, there's a museum dedicated to him and his creation. It even includes an instant ramen workshop where you can make your own fresh noodles. Whoa, that was even weirder than that time my sister showed me her d If you want to see more stuff, don't forget to subscribe and check out more videos. See you next time!